Trafina! Latifi! You have blood on your hands! Regan Russell was violently killed! She was dragged for 50 feet! How is that just careless driving? Activists gathered in front of Halton Police Headquarters to protest the charges laid against the truck driver involved in the death of Regan Russell at Fearman's Pork in Burlington on June 19th. Regan Russell was uh, a peaceful protester, 65 years old. She had more than 40 years of experience with animal rights activism. She ha always had safety uh, top of mind. Um, and, uh, you know, the day that this happened, she was at a special vigil opposing Bill 156. It's an ag-gag bill that would restrict animal activism, such as bearing witness, animal rescue, whistleblowing. And uh, she was there to stand up for these basic civil rights for demonstrations. And um, she was standing at the entrance of uh, Safina's Fearman's pig slaughterhouse in Burlington. Uh, and she was more than 100 feet away from the driver and the driver stood at the lights for multiple cycles and she was in clear sight. And the eyewitnesses said that he revved his engine and accelerated and unfortunately it's downhill and she didn't have time to jump out of the way and she, she should have never been put in that position to jump out of the way of a truck. I, I feel that these charges are feeble and they don't amount to justice for Regan Russell. It's the most gruesome death for the most beautiful human being on the planet. Animal Safe Movement lawyer Shane Martinez outlined what protesters are hoping for. It's the position of Animal Safe Movement that it would be appropriate right now for the police to proactively release the video to ensure that there's full transparency about what happened that day. Given the totality of the circumstances, given the eyewitness accounts, given the history of what's happened at Fearman's, given all of the information that the police have available to them, to reconsider the decision not to lay criminal charges and to, in fact, specifically consider a charge of criminal negligence causing death under Section 220 of the Criminal Code. Inspector Ivan Leort was on scene monitoring the protest. The Halton Regional Police Service, we'd like to extend our condolences to the family and all those involved. It truly is a tragic uh, circumstance what happened and we can again certainly empathize uh, with, with the family and, and the community about this uh, event that happened on June 19th. Uh, with regards to any upgrade in charges, a very comprehensive, actually exhaustive investigation was done by our traffic collision specialist. And as a result of their investigation, as per the, the media release, the findings led them to the conclusion of the appropriate, uh, what they believe are the appropriate charges that are before the court now, which is the uh, careless driving caused death under the Highway Traffic Act. Mm -hmm. Regan's husband, Mark Powell, had a message for all those outraged by the event. It was my strength. She really was. I feel very lost without her. As do her friends. We have to protect her message. We have to not let what she was standing up for all her life, activism in general, whether animal or human or just injustice. Um, don't let her message get lost in the fog of the anger that you might feel. You know, if this group feels there's an injustice and they're standing here to speak to it, we're standing beside them, as Regan would.